Everything I've said I'm gonna do, I do. And now you're along for the ride too. All right, um, let me give a recap real quick for everyone who's new, right? Obviously I named this the Primal Code and I basically uh, made a connection yesterday between uh, these three things I made a triangle. Obviously I can't summarize everything in five minutes, but I made a connection between the code that we have as human beings and how we operate, what I consider to be the matrix, which is just the, the average existence today and how people think and perceive the world, and then objective reality, right? And I made a triangle and how this is all connected to give you an elevated position of making moves, strategizing, living, speaking to people, and being more in control of your life, right? And how everyday interactions, how we run our business and all that stuff, how all these things tie together, and then we kind of zoomed in and gave strategies on how to navigate between all these worlds together and make sure that you stay in a position of control and cause versus the effect, right? Um, you guys will have to catch up for those of you who missed yesterday just to get caught up to speed on where we're at today, but this kind of encapsulates everything that I was talking about yesterday, right? Um, so let me see, did I get anything online? Oh, some people are waiting to join. So no, no lingering questions and get right into it. You guys have anything online? I know it was muted when I asked it the first time. If you have a question, just mute, uh, unmute and speak. I'll give you like 10 seconds. Hello? Yeah, John, you got a question? Okay, you don't, got it. Pretty cool, all right, let's get started. I want to, let's see, where do I wanna start? Oh, man, I have so much I wanna talk about. Okay, this is a big problem that we have. Where's the, here it is, the rag. Everybody got the triangle, if you wanna take a picture, take a picture, I'm gonna delete it. All right, I'm gonna erase it. I just wanted to give you that as a visual reference, all right? Here's a big problem that we have um, that I wanna start with, all right? I'm gonna show you how it ties into everything, all right? Everybody in this room and most people in this world have this craving to, and I say craving because it's almost like it, it, it comes from like your loins, but really it's been this, poison that's been injected into you. And, and what I'm referring to is this, everybody at a certain degree, and we all have varying degrees of it, right? Everything that I talk about normally, if you're gonna think of the proper terminology is a gradient scale, meaning this would be a little bit and this is a lot, right? People fall somewhere in here. Very few people have reached like a level of mastery in something like this where it's like, I don't have this condition at all, right? We all have varying degrees of it. And the first one is, we have this like innate desire now, we believe it to be a desire, but it's not, to constantly be understood by people, right? And let, let me share with you why that's an issue, okay? Think of, and let me give you a few examples before I go into it so you understand in case when I say stop seeking to be understood, you don't really understand what that means, all right? If I put something out, right? I put out a picture, I put out a video, right? Somebody comes in, makes an innocent comment, makes a hater comment, doesn't matter, right? At what point and what has to happen for us to decide to engage with that person, right? Think about it, you made a video on money and let's say somebody has some shit to say about it. Whether positive or negative, it doesn't matter. Why do we respond to that person? Think about that for a second. Why do we actually take the time out of our day, again, whether positive or negative, to respond to that person? And when I say that, it's not like you went in your schedule and said, hey, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., I'm gonna sit there and respond to everybody online, right? If you did that, cool. That's a different level of operation. That's completely cause point. But why would you stop what you're doing when we know damn well you had other things to do and you answer that person and you comment and you reply to their comment? Again, whether in person or online. Why do we stop to do it? Because you wanna be understood. You made a point you feel that for whatever reason this person doesn't agree with you or doesn't you know, align with it 100% and you wanna take the time out of your day, your precious focus and energy, and you wanna fucking sit there and type to this person. Now, the typical example with this is something negative because you're like, fuck this person, why are you talking shit? And we get triggered by it. But the, the, the level underneath that is 
I want to be understood. This person said I'm fake or I'm full of shit or this and that. No, 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 let me set the record straight. I need to be understood that I'm legit or fill in the blank with whatever it is, right? Are you guys following me on this? That's, that's, that's the underlying issue there. Now, how do we get rid of that? It's not you become this mental badass and haters don't fuck with me and all that because I don't care how illuminated you are, I don't care how evolved you are, innately when we disagree with other human beings, it doesn't feel good, right? Like, you, you think I enjoy the fact that so many people talk shit about me? Now, it doesn't affect me on a daily basis anymore, but it's not cool to look and see all these motherfuckers trashing you all the time, right? To say it has zero effect on you, you're either crazy or, again, you've achieved the Buddha status, right? So it doesn't affect me at all, but you still have to acknowledge its existence. It's still there, right? So people will, will mess around on the surface above the soil, and they're like, oh, you just need to become strong, you need to have a good mindset, or ignore the haters, the classic advice, right, that you get. But the underlying root there, and what you need to rip out like a weed, is that. You need to remove this, this new poison that's within you of wanting to be understood. Because let's think about that for a second. Why do you want to be understood? Where does that stem from? In many cases, it stems from seeking approval. And we know that's a very weak behavior. Right? We know that the people who go around seeking approval are not in line with the code. Because a person who is in line with the code, a lion is an example. Right? When we look at the animal kingdom, I'll put animals, they're the perfect examples of that primal code. That's why I named it that primal code. I'm just giving you the human connection to it, which is now our mind and our intelligence, right? Does a lion or any kind of, we can say, even though it's a cliche word to use now, alpha, any alpha animal out there, in any way, shape, or form, is it seeking to be understood or seeking approval? Does a lion say, hold on, guys, I'm about to roar right now, hyenas, but I'm just letting you know I'm not roaring to scare you, I'm just roaring to display my dominance. Does he do that? Right? I know you're laughing, it's like the most ridiculous shit ever. Right? Can you imagine on National Geographic they put subtitles, right? And they start doing that? Like, as soft as our culture is now, that's probably what they're gonna do, right? Oh, lion discovers its feminine side or some shit, right? Like, or, and, and, it'll, and it'll say uh, in parentheses, possibly non-binary or some shit like that, right? Like, <laughs> get stupid, right? It'll say some stuff like that, right? Um, but again, the lion, because, and this is a blessing and a curse, because it doesn't have the intelligence that we have and it's not evolved as human beings, it doesn't have to deal with this thing that we deal with. So the thing that you have that is your strongest weapon is also your biggest curse, unless you know how to use it properly. So they're not worried about that shit. They're just doing their thing. They're like, I'm a fucking lion, I roar, okay, you're, you're prey, I'm gonna hunt you. It's just very operational, right? And if you learn how to tap into that as a human being, the, the powerful aspects of it, you become extremely effective. Because in many cases, I am very connected with that because I can, in a way, block out all the stuff that I do. And let me give you another example for those of you who produce. I know you're producing a lot on social media being able to understand like this hater equation and seeking approval and Xing that out of the equation makes your execution that much easier. Because in the process of doing that, what you're doing is you're eliminating, right? It's like you become this arrow, right? However a fucking arrow is, right? That's eliminating all these extra things. Like imagine if the arrow only has to go through one barrier versus 20 barriers. That arrow is gonna be much more effective going through just one barrier to reach the target, right? But what we do, we self, Right? Like I talked yesterday, we self-impose all these extra barriers with little datums like this, wanting to be understood and seeking approval. Because right? at the end of the day, that comment or anybody else, and I'm going to break this down for you, what do we gain from that person actually approving and even just saying, oh, you know what, you've convinced me, you're not fake. <laughs>